Hello everyone. We are finally back with a video after a long absence. So, we have decided to teach you C-sharp with WinForms and WPF from the scratch. So let's start with the first video, which will demonstrate how to use Visual Studio to construct a decent project in C-sharp. First, launch Visual Studio. I'm using version 2019, but you may use any version. A start window will then appear, where you can access all of your existing projects or start a new one. For the purposes of this lesson, let's start a new project. Here you can choose an inbuilt template, provided by Visual Studio to get started. For the basic purpose let's start a Windows Forms app. Search for Windows Forms and select Windows Forms app. Next, you have to configure your project. Here you will be required to enter your project details. So let me name the project as my first project. Location is the place where your project is saved. If needed, you can adjust the location using the browse button. Solution is a container for projects, it's better to keep the name as default. Windows Forms use .NET Framework, you can select a targeted framework if needed. It is recommended to use the most recent framework that is compatible with your computer. OK, let's finalize and create the project. This will be our main interface for working on your project or solution. On the top right corner, you will find the Solution Explorer. It's a specialized window for managing solutions, projects, or files. It displays a complete view of the files in a project and allows you to add or remove files and also organize them into subfolders. The next mostly used window is the Toolbox. You can pin it for quick access. The toolbox displays the standard visual controls, along with any insertable items you've added to your project. You can drag and drop different controls onto the surface of the designer. Also, resize and position the controls using the Properties window. This is how simple it is to modify the properties. To see the output of your program, you can start debugging from here. In the next video, let's go through about variables and calculations with C Sharp. If you learn something new, a sub to the channel would be appreciated. See you guys in the next video.